All right, so Naya Feather. Naya, for those new to magic, refers to this color combination we have here in front of us of red, white, and green. Feather refers to this card, Feather the Redeemed, that says, whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell that targets a creature you control, exile that card instead of putting it into your graveyard as it resolves. If you do, return it to your hand at the beginning of the next end step. So we play Feather the Redeemed with various cards that it rebuys, such as Defiant Strike to constantly draw cards, Fight as One and God's Willing to protect our key threats, and then Reckless Rage here is really one of the biggest draws to this deck, especially in a format where Naya Winota is one of the best decks in the format. So we've talked a lot about how Red Cat Melee is a card that's very good on a sideboards, and Reckless Rage in this archetype, especially that we're playing, is very similar to a main deckable Red, Red Cat Melee. So this deck even has some melees here in the sideboard, so I think this deck should have a pretty reasonable Winota matchup. The creature, other creature decks that don't have much removal tend to be good matchups for this, historically speaking. Let's go ahead and dive on into some matches here with this and see how it goes. And it's pretty good. Uh, let's let's not post stuff like that, Eldune. Thanks. Comments like that serve to minimize issues that are currently being experienced all around the country. Let's not not make jokes like that in my spaces. Some kind of Bant Ramp deck, probably Field of the Dead. This is definitely a matchup where we want to run them down. Mm -hmm. So I have Feather here in hand. However, I could just attack for like a bunch this turn. However, 10th District Legionnaire is just going to bounce off of their stuff. So I think my plan here is attack with just Legionnaire. Oh, I should have attacked with both, right? Yeah, because if they block this the 2-2, two, two, this can give non, non-human a bonus too. Yeah, I should have attacked with both here. Really? Okay. All right, so they're going to take four. I've elected not to flashback the fight is one this turn because if I wait till next turn while I have Feather in play to flashback the fight is one, it allows me to return it to my hand with Feather, which is ideal. to get my scry on here.
We have a big crisis here. Looking for reckless rage here. Again, casting the God's Willing here, so that way I get it back at end of turn. It gives us a permanent 1-1 counter. Now, notably, they tapped their colorless lands here, so now I get to go upkeep God's Willing this, give it pro green, and this will be able to kill Nissa now. Reckless Rage! Some things die while others feel the pain. Reckless Rage! Ha! Ha! Got him! You love you love to see it, chat. Okay, so we're gonna put a stop at our end of turn. We'll fight as one. This and this. And then we will Reckless Rage their 10-10 Crisis here. And then at my end of turn, the Reckless Rage is going to come back to my hand. And we'll get to Reckless Rage this again. Rage against the Crisis, baby. Rage against the Crisis. So Resolve. Reckless Rage you again. Oh, yeah. When this deck is good, it's great. When this deck is good, it is... It is real good. And there's a Defiant Strike here, so we're gonna get to start drawing cards every turn now, too. I did not update the stream title. Thank you. That those six those five days off of streaming magic really threw me for a loop. Yeah, it's 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 consistently a good one, Wargy. One of the more one of the more fun ones up on my website for sure. We would say your all-time favorite format would be uh, Guilds of Ravnica Standard. Sure, why not?
Oh no! What if they escape Uro, chat? How will my aggro deck ever beat an Uro? Oh no! Well that's, well, that's rude. The Lux Capacitor. Thank you for the brand new tier one sub. I appreciate that. Welcome to Oglandia. You're having a good one wherever you're at. And just in case they have a sweeper of some sort here, I'm also going to fight this one. Well, welcome, Lux. If you're interested in hanging out in Hoaglandia too, even while I'm offline, especially when I take a little bit of a break when my baby gets here, um, be sure to pop into the subs Discord as well. Yeah, I just assumed they were going to block Jethrin. Oh, I can't do this during my upkeep because there's a Tefri. Well, that's unfortunate. And that card's annoying. Are they dead? This is 15, 16, 17, 18... 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Arcanus does not get to flashback because there's a Tefri in play. Right? I cast I cast this. 17, 18, 19, or 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. 24, 25. I believe, I believe they are exactly dead. Jay Hurst, thank you for the entire year of support. I appreciate that. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. We're in a good one wherever you're at. Right? I counted right. 23 is 25. Yes. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah, the Z-Bag article was, uh... Yeah. It was something. Should we make a command for that? I feel like we should make a command for that. Because I feel like we're going to talk about... Talk about that. Finally get around to freeing up some magic money. Thanks for honest and forthcoming about politics and playing a game I love. Thanks for the 16 months, Bean. I appreciate you dropping that prime off. Welcome back. Do I do I even sideboard here? I don't I don't even know that Rune Blaster is very good. Just like they ramp a bunch. Is it possible I just want to click submit? Is Rune Bast Blaster better than Arcanist because Arcanist doesn't work while Tefri's out? Although Arcanus gives us some of our most aggressive starts. Like that last game we played, we wouldn't have been nearly as aggressive if we hadn't had Arcanus. So maybe I just submit. I'm going to try just clicking submit and see how it feels.
How does Arcanus work with Feather? It works the way we want it to. When Arcanus flashes something back, if we have Feather in play, it returns to our hand after at the end of turn. Thalia seems good at stifling the ramp. Disagree, especially on the draw. I think Thalia hinders us a lot more than it hinders them. Thalia is in our sideboard basically exclusively for setting the non-ramp control decks back a turn. I think I lead on this. That's true. That's true. We can't put, we can't choose to put things in the bin. Is accurate. Reckless rage. Some things die while others feel the pain. Reckless rage. Do 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 do. I should keep the stomping ground there. And I have Paradise Shooters and their mana source down the line. Picked. Never, never didn't have it. These creatures are great, chat. These creatures are great. Yeah, I think, I think they thought their Grazer was going to live when they Aether Gusted there. But uh, Reckless Rage has two targets and dealing four isn't contingent upon dealing two. Oh, we already made a command, Hunter. The fight is one is great here. No, you're you're fine. It's only a matter of time. Apathy. Thank you for the entire year of support. I appreciate that. Welcome. Thanks for keeping me around. Notice that you have no standard on your schedule. Do you think that the new bands are not sufficient? To no, I don't, Nemesis. I don't. I don't expect standard to be enjoyable for me with the bands. I'm gonna reserve the right to change that, obviously, as tournaments and stuff happen. But until I see information to the contrary, I have no desire to slam my head against the standard wall. But much, much rather focus on historic content. Because Historic is the format that I have up on my website. Well, I'd like to draw that one again. Honestly, and, and this says a lot about this card. One of the most offensive things about Tefri as a card is the fact that on top of everything else it does, it incidentally turns off things like Dreadhorde Arcanist. Here we go. Okay, so one thing to understand, and I want to address this, and this is semantics to a degree, but just like we talked about how companies don't have companies don't have political affiliations or views, companies aren't racist. They have racist people making decisions within them. And I know to a degree that that's splitting hairs, but I think it's an important distinction. How am I how am I splitting my attack here? I need to get Tefri off the table so I can unlock this. I think I'm going to start by Defiant Striking so I could draw Reckless Rage. They could, they could have a third Aether Gust here.
Actually, I don't think I want that. Do I? Yeah, I do. Goodbye, planeswalkers. I'm gonna get shattered this guy here and be real sad. At least we draw a card, I guess. Well, we had we had a fun game. Was that a good turn? No, it wasn't. It was nowhere near good enough. Because again, the fact that there was a Tefri in play forced us to go all in, which meant that I didn't have any counterplay against Shatter of the Sky because three mana Tefri hinders all counterplay. You know what? It removes one of the most interesting parts of the game. It makes magic less enjoyable. Okay, so addressing addressing the number thing, D Baker, like one, if you want to assume it was innocent, they could have very easily fixed it. That's all. That's like all there. All there's. It's not even. It's like that's that's it. That's the that's the tweet. If it was actually innocent, they could have just fixed it. Yeah, yeah, relevant context-related links are always welcome in my chat. Please, please do not shy away from helping inform people. Man. Thought we were gonna... We almost got through the two Tefris and the... And the Nissa And Shatter into five-minute Tefris just a little bit too much. I think I'm happy with how we boarded... Gonna go ahead and run it back. Yeah, I didn't intend for that to be a ban, but definitely, definitely a timeout. So I'm keeping this and hoping to draw some lands. The Drowning Cow Live. Thanks for the 25 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Oh, magic. It's funny. This build's actually playing one more land than a lot of my previous, uh, previous Naya builds have played. A, a dog whistle, because this is a good a good thing to know. A dog whistle is a coded message, so people that understand the code know that you're on their side. Generally, in politics, it refers to letting other racists know that you're also a racist without blatantly saying it, so that way you can make a good faith or a bad faith effort to distance yourself from it in the event that anybody would call you on what you did it gives you it gives you a form of 
letting other awful people know you're awful like them while giving you a cop-out to let other people who might think of themselves as reasonable say, oh, they didn't really mean that. They're not like that. The absence of people of color in leadership roles has profound effects. Sure, but there there are people at the company making decisions to not have diverse leadership. Like, there's still people making decisions. It's not like... Companies aren't people. They don't vote. They don't have feelings. The people inside those companies making those decisions are are the people that are that have their biases or their bigotry or their racism saying that it's the company's fault is scapegoating the responsibility from the people making the decisions to this generic vague thing and i think that's a bad thing saying it's the company lets you lets you remove responsibility from people that are actually making those decisions within the company I don't know. At the at the end of the day, I think that point is probably largely semantics, but that's how I feel about it. I think Framing your discussion in a way that holds the people making decisions accountable is important. Howdy, Red Mage Frank. Uh, bottom right hand corner mean bean should get you out of it. I think our opponent's disconnected. Womp womp. Except wins of all kind. We are, we are, after the good run with the Jeskai deck, we are dangerously close to the Diamond 4 rank floor. And the Naya, the Naya Feather deck's pretty okay, so if we, had, if we have an okay run, we might be able to get up in there. Mr. Ketter! Thanks for the sub gifties. Hope life's treating you okay. Maddie said you cashed the you cashed the 2K tournament. Congrats on that. I don't know if we talked afterwards. Well, thanks. I appreciate it. And welcome to our new members of Hoglandia. Remember to our newest members given the gift of speech. The gift of speech Mr. Ketter giveth. The gift of speech he can taketh away. 
So behave. Thanks, Mr. Tasty. Welcome back. Howdy how. Good morning. Ah. Uh... That's got to be a mulligan with no white source. This is fine. We'll bottom a stomping ground. Not amazing, but fine. Would love to draw a two-mana creature. Hi, Harlequin. Thanks for the two years of support. Welcome back. I see, I see some folks in chat commenting on learning things about dog whistles and other unpleasant things that exist. It is okay... To have made a mistake when you weren't aware of something like that in the past. The thing that's not okay is to double down and argue that what you did was okay. Humans fail. We learn. We grow. The issue is that when you fail to acknowledge your mistakes and then try and act like it was all okay. I'm sorry. I messed up. I'll do better next time. Our words to live by. I think I'm just passing here because I want to play this with Reckless Rage next turn or with Protection up. Season of Growth is really scary though. Actually, looks like we're playing a mirror and this card's just going to bury us in the mirror. This latest build I actually trimmed this card from and it's definitely going to put us behind here. Sure. Jaquin, but that's still that's still on the people in my opinion. Uh, Google it, Danny. Yeah, and I mean, like, and part of that people not wanting to admit they're wrong is, is a part of the culture that we live in, too. We live in a culture where if someone changes their mind... They're derided and attacked as a hypocrite because the goal isn't to help people change. It's, be, it's just to be hateful and to attack people. Like, their goal isn't to help people grow and educate. The goal is to be like, I'm better than you and you should feel bad about yourself. So, like, when someone's wrong about something, people attack them for being wrong, rightfully. But when that person goes, you know what, you're right, I'm wrong, people continue to cancel that person and be like, you know, there's no redemption for you because you were wrong this time. It's also, it's also important to acknowledge you shouldn't give people who are awful a free pass if they don't make an effort to change. The making making an effort to change part is very important to the discussion. I feel I feel like there's examples that when people make genuine efforts to change, people still just like crap on them pretty needlessly. Alright, so I'm gonna reckless rage. These again. And then I'm gonna God's willing to protect my spellbreaker from red. Or green. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. No, I, I need it to be red so that way I don't die to my reckless rages. Don't confuse me, chat.
Mitt Romney's a relevant example. Mitt Romney hasn't done anything to prove he's changed yet. Mitt, Mitt Romney has spent some time talking the talk, but until he walks and put his, puts his money where his mouth is, he doesn't deserve redemption. He's a really good example, I agree. And he could, he could get there. No, he did not. Mitt Romney, a senator walking with protesters, is not Mitt Romney putting his money where his mouth is. Mitt Romney passing meaningful legislation and voting against the other Republicans who are going to block meaningful legislation, that is putting the money where the mouth is. Senators, senators need to be doing to show that they've changed. They're in a position of power. Mitt, Mitt's a U.S. politician. He's a Republican senator from Utah. He was the only Republican to vote to convict Trump on one of the impeachment articles. But at the same time, it's believed the duration he waited to vote to convict was he got approval from the GOP. He got permission to buck daddy Trump publicly is basically what happened. Yes, unless Mitt puts his vote where his mouth is, him walking with protesters is a publicity stunt and nothing more. And again, what I'm about to say is almost assuredly incredibly jaded. But until they prove otherwise, this posturing on Mitt's part is just him positioning himself to be the reasonable GOP once Trump is eventually removed in the fall. When Trump eventually loses the election, there are going to be a ton of Republicans that did nothing but kiss his ass and do his all of his bidding that flip right around and will act like they never supported him and they never stood for what he believed in and they always hated him and those people you don't you should not forget those people they still need to be held accountable once he's removed All right, red cap melee sounds good here. Kills this, this, sometimes kills this. What do I want to trim? Need three cuts to fit those in. I mean, Unless Trump dismantles the Constitution entirely, which he is working on, to be fair. Um, even if he wins next this year, he'll be gone in 2024 at some point. That's a good point. Is Vanguard good enough here? Going down to 18 creatures is a little scary, but that's probably the trim. Maybe cut a fight as one. Feel like I want all my removal spells here. Uh, I'm not informed enough on whatever the Lady G situation is, so I'm gonna decline to comment. Rather than work off of baseless speculation. Sounds pretty reasonable. Two threats, all of our colors, some removal, some prediction. I mean, his damage is permanent regardless of if he gets reelected. I don't know. The people that want to be pessimistic, again, I'd encourage you to focus on reality. Joe, Joe Biden didn't win the primary by accident. Joe Biden won an incredible number of votes 
in states he literally did not campaign in. I know as a progressive, you really want Bernie to win. I, I'm a progressive chat. But like, to again, focus on reality rather than despairing in, you know, not reality. He won it by design when all the moderates stepped out at the same- No, that's- that's- that's FUD! I'm gonna time you out because that's FUD. Even- even if Bernie Sanders- even- even if you went off of the unrealistic expectation that every person that voted for Elizabeth Warren cast a ballot for Bernie Sanders instead, if she dropped out when she should have, Bernie still would have lost to Joe. And I say that as someone that gave hundreds of dollars to Sanders and had a Bernie banner on my screen. Like, that's, that's just reality. And I know it's not the reality you want to hear, but, like, again, you're... Don't... Don't reject reality. Alright, what are we doing here? I think we're flashing back Reckless Rage and forcing the protection spell out of him here. That's also not true, Zaozu. Like, Biden won Illinois. Illinois is pretty far from a red state. Again, it's it's okay to say you would have preferred Bernie to Biden. It is not okay to come into my channel and sit and spread FUD. Stick to the facts. Facts matter. I know, I know we're kind of living in a post-fact world in a lot of ways, and it's very frustrating. But facts, facts do matter. These will bounce off here. Alright, so they're dead. The game has ended. I'm gonna Defiant. Wait, okay. No, we're not gonna Defiant Strike yet. So, wait, are they literally dead here? I think they're literally dead here. So we do this. Niv, thanks for the tree fitty. I appreciate it. So we'll go fight as one. Here here and then we'll go Domri's ambush here here attack with this flashback Domri's ambush kill this how can you be progressive when you think big music industries have rights to control what music you play on your Amazon hosted Twitch channel. I don't, I don't understand if that's sarcasm or not. That's a meme. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty, I was like, I think that's sarcasm, but I'm not, I'm not sure. And I'm a little scared.
I can't follow Ben S on Twitter anymore. He is like just the epitome of just like enlightened centrist idiot. I just I just can't do it. People pe people like Ben. Did I, I clicked Mulligan, right? What did I click Mulligan? Can someone clip that? Did I did I click Mulligan there? Can someone clip that, please? Did I I was checking Twitter. I did someone clip it and post a clip, please. Thank you. Someone please give me a clip so I can link it on Twitter. He is like, just... I can't tell from that clip. There's definitely some massive input lag going on there. Definitely some massive input lag. Yeah, Jaquan, that's what the minus 500... That's what the minus 500 in my... In my chat is, is about. Is that Wizards Wizards did that? Well... They have a Reckless Rage, we're dead. If they don't, and we find something, we could be okay here. Is that clause unique? That clause is not atypical of contracts like the MPL, but that also doesn't make clauses like that okay. Those clauses like that being commonplace... You too, Mitsu. If you go back and watch the client kept in game three when I clicked Mulligan. So, unfortunately, my hand didn't really do much. Correct. Non non disparagement clauses are bad, and the fact that they happen in lots of places doesn't make them less bad. If the only defense you can muster for something is this awful thing happens everywhere, that's not a good defense. I think I'm playing around removal game one out of this. According to the leaker that leaked M21 cards for us, people in divisions other than Magic that have been given cards to test have been reported to HR for harassment for stating they didn't have fun with them. I need a source on that because that's one of those things that's stupid enough that I, I just, I need, I need a source. Can you please link a source on that 10 ton hammer? 
I need, I need, and I know it's probably going to be an anonymous source, but like, holy crap. That, that can't be real. Graph Digger's Cade sounds good against their graveyard deck. They don't play a ton of removal, so I think I'd show them a couple of fight as, well, fight as ones here. God's Willing's still good for getting past blockers. This looks very good. Can our deck successfully play Cage? Well, I just boarded into Cages, so if you think my deck can't play Cage for some reason, please articulate why. X and Ver, thanks for the third of the year. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. Yeah, I agree. Submitted a Rune Terror deck list for the queue. Here's some points. Enjoying all the content. Thanks, Fortal. I appreciate it. I'm going to wrap up with some Runeterra again today. Can you submit a build around for future standard slash historic? Not yet. I also don't know that I'm taking historic submissions yet. Or taking standard submissions yet. The jury, jury's out on that one at the moment. Which, by the way, I'm through all of my existing historic submissions after today. With the caveat that new baby can obviously come at any point. If you're a sub who's wanted to submit a historic deck, you are welcome to submit one. And it, it will get played fairly quickly, assuming Christy doesn't pop immediately. <sighs> All right, so we're a Danto Vanguarding. And we're probably going to pay for and Reckless Rage this. When's the next Oglandia open? And the next Oglandia open's not getting scheduled until after Christie's, until after Christie's recovered from childbirth. Drax, thanks for 15 months. Welcome back. Sniff Power, thanks for the 13 months. I don't want to make a commitment and say we're going to do something and then have to have to reschedule or something like that. Super dead to fiend art is in here. It's a big boy. The Gwaif, the Gwaif's a big boy. You're not, you're not wrong. What's on the docket for Legends of Runeterra today? We're going to play some Twisted Fate. 
Yeah, if you think the opponent's deck is sweet and you haven't seen it in action before with me playing it, it was the deck of the day two or three days ago. Grixis Strange, it's up on my website and my YouTube channel, like always. Tutors, thanks for the year and a half. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Yeah, I'm excited to do more open events. Had a lot of good feedback on them from the community. There's a good chance, especially if Haley's not born until next Monday, that we don't uh, that we don't have the next one until July, though. Are you considering building a crew to manage these tournaments if they become bigger? A lot of the things we would like to do logistically with the Hoaglandi Opens to improve them require having other people physically inside my home. So until the state of the world is in a place where I feel comfortable doing that, we're kind of uh, restricted in what we can do in terms of improvements. Hey, Lou, thanks for the 17 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. So late, only so much you can do. I, ideally, I would have another person doing most of the production work, and I would, I, I would simply be focused on doing commentary and engaging with chat. As opposed to also managing OBS and everything else I do during the event. Enjoy the life lesson streams, the card game side content's been engaging too. God bless. BS, BSQR, thanks for keeping me around. Aishin, thanks for the half a year. A little bit, little bit late. All right. All right, I'm just going to mute Ben S now on Twitter. I'm just going to mute this thread. We linked him. Linked him the definition of fascism and we're done. Uh, ben, Ben S had a had a bunch of good old fashioned both sides isms on his on his Twitter that I tried to engage in. That believe it or not, someone willing to engage in both sides isms at this point in the political spectrum of the United States isn't. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I try to follow other content creators. He's part of F2K. Like it's it's important it's important to like know what else is going on in my industry to a degree. We should just declare Haley the champion of the Jude Open. She's getting an emote anyways. Ain't that the truth? Thank you for the very generous tier 3 resub and for the 12th month of that. Three month. Let's get your sword to go with that shield. Yes. Yeah, if you, sc if you scroll through Ben's Twitter, he, he very clearly thinks of himself as an enlightened centrist. All right, we're going to play this after we flashback this spell. Almost, almost made an oopsie. Rough. That's, uh, that's a big in. We're dead, chat. This is a chunky monkey. Maybe instead of reckless, maybe instead of red cat melees in my sideboards, I want some justice strikes. That's something I've I've played in the past 
Justice Strike's a two-mana way to kill Winota, but it's more flexible in situations like this. I think, I think I'm going to make that swap here. I, I agree with that, Wasich Warrior. I think, I think things have pushed towards more extremes in my lifetime. The Republican side is, the Republican Party's definitely pushed towards more extremes. I mean the Democrats are to the left of to the left of the GOP. I I am expecting there to be protests and potentially riots in the United States regardless of who wins in November. And I'm honestly quite scared of what Trump's base is going to do if he gives them a literal call to arms in the fall when he loses. He told, he told people they should liberate their states when they were told they should wear masks and stay home. So like, I can't, I just can't even fathom what he's gonna do when he loses an election. Correct, I agree. Trump claimed an election that he won was rigged. Like, yeah, I'm just, I'm scared to see what happens when he loses. Up a Moros charm. This is my 4 4. There are many like it, but this one is mine. Hey, Shroom Dog. Thanks for 13 months. I appreciate that. Welcome back. Thanks for keeping me around. I have a shocking revelation here. I think this is still a good exchange for us and one we have to make. We'd love to draw an untapped land that doesn't hurt us here. We need it to be a white mana so we can feather plus protect. All right, that's actually great. So I get to do this and pass here. Our single-term presidents come and not in my lifetime. You can always find my schedule on my website. That includes not only when I go live, but what I go live with. Although I guess it doesn't have today up. I'm not intending to play standard. I might, I might play more standard after M21 releases, but even that's up in the air at the moment, if I'm being honest. I'd recommend checking out Crokey's channel if you want to see people slog through standard. It's not my kink. If 
folks who say they miss stuff because it wasn't on the schedule, y'all should really have notifications turned on in Discord if you don't want to miss things. There's a, there's a special role you can join in there that only gets tagged when I go live. It's busted. Twitter, Twitter's got a lot of stuff going on in it. Discord, Discord's got a lot of good controls. You should be able to install it and have it only give you notifications for that role tag. I'm not sure I'm here. I need to cut three cards. Definitely want these Light of Hopes. I'm inclined to cut some of my protection. God's Willing isn't stellar in the face of... God's Willing sucks against Bone Crusher Giants. Maybe we get rid of that. I lied. I'm going to tweet one more definition at Ben S because he's a fucking idiot. Sorry, I apologize. He had the he had the audacity. He had the audacity to say Trump's not a dictatorial leader. Which is just kind of kind of unreal. They didn't no one has said the United States is a dictatorship, but Trump is almost assuredly by the definition of the word dictatorial, which for reference, for those that would like a definition, leader or manager of this style operates like a dictator. He or she makes decisions about what, where, when, and how things are done. Employees failing to follow directions are usually severely disciplined or given cause for early retirement. It's like textbook Trump administration. Good ladder decks for Legends of Runeterra. Yeah, the tempo, the tempo endure list on my YouTube channel is really good. It's also in my RT decks page. Burn, burn is also great. I think I'm doing this now. Feather being on top of my deck is actually the big punishment to firing off Defiant Strike aggressively here. However, Reckless Rage! Some things die while others feel the pain. Reckless Rage! Kill them with fire!
Yeah, I was, we hit, we played against three Winota decks in a row to start today, and I agree, I'm a bit, I'm a bit sad we haven't found any with this deck. This deck, this deck's Winota matchup is quite funny. Oh, you know what? Small mistake here again. Definitely should have done this during my upkeep, although we had another land on top. So I should have upkeep done this to scry before I draw. That is a Godzilla basic. It's a, that is in fact a Godzilla basic. All right, let's play one more with Feather. I like this deck. Let's me sing songs. Sing the song, songs that's just singing, baby. Ooh, baby. Ooh, say ooh. Hey, do we get our wish? Looks like we got our wish. I'm sure we're, now that we asked to play this matchup, we're just going to get completely run over. It's going to, like, kill us on turn three here. Because that's how, that's how life works out. All right, well, they don't have Winota, so we're going to block here and try and send the Bleeding a little bit. We'll untap and we'll play a 4-4. Four -four. It's a great hit. Um, That actually means I'm going to play this and then shoot this, I think. Because I think if they play Winota here, it means they peeled it off the top. This is a Bone Crusher Giant. I think I'm okay trading this for Stomp plus an Elf. The Winota deck is very good. Yikes! This, uh, so I haven't actually played this matchup a ton. This is, this is probably their best card against us, huh? Yeah, wow, I hadn't, I hadn't thought about, I hadn't thought about this one. Yeah, we're actually just dead. That's a good, good one to think about. Huh, okay. Justice Strike seems good. Domri's Ambush is slow. They don't play much removal, so cutting some of these is probably good. Maybe Graft Digger's Cage is great. Pops there, Winota's. We'll do it. Opponent had a very good draw on the play there. We almost we almost stabilized on the play. You like Rune Blaster. You want me to bring in Rune Blaster against the tiny creature deck that plays to the board very quickly? Please explain why you think that's a good idea. Actos on four is our Achilles heel. Well. So we can say we started blasting. I like, okay, that's fair. 
That's fair. Saying we started blasted is pretty big upside. I would like for you to blow up. I am a member of Twitch chat, and I would appreciate it if you would begin blowing up lands. Please and thank you. Reckless Ridge. Some things die while others feel the pain. Reckless rage. And need some mana, but otherwise pretty good. Opponent's mulliganed. A citizen of Oglandia, you have rights. I got your rights right here. You have the right to one 10 minute break free of charge. We've been giving lessons on fascism and dictators. Oglandia is a dictatorship chat and I'm the dick. My Winota. Okay, pretty sure we're justice striking her because I want to be able to hold up one mana to Reckless Rage in the future. So I'd really like to draw untapped red here so I can play 10th District Legionnaire and attack. If they don't hack Tosa, us, we're in a very good spot. <laughs> Hi, mommy. Hi, mommy. First time watching, the first thing that happens after I join is you call someone a century city hit that's worth the sub. Can we type can we fix Nessa myself? Don't time them out. Mods! I would like to set the mods back to stun. Is there's a child in here? Where'd the child go? I thought I heard a child and then he disappeared. There was, there was a small child. Alright, so I think the plan here is do this to try and close the game out faster. This also lets me justice strike something because the Dreadhorde Arcanus will be bigger for the turn. Or do they have a red cap melee here maybe? Bone Crusher. Okay, getting a little bit punished for my play here. The child said, hi, mommy, and ran off. Okay, yeah, Kirstie's probably watching upstairs. This is not what the feather lock's supposed to be. Accurate. Pa 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 poker face, pa pa poker face, ma 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 ma. Play Winona, I dare ya. I double dare ya. Yep, I like this picking up their uh, their companion here. Where are my lands, chat? I've got huge tracks of land. I'm gonna go ahead and kill the Bone Crusher Giant now, so this way if they play Winona next turn, 
I can kill Winota as well because this only has three toughness. I'm going to decline to cast this because I want to wait to flash these back until I have Feather in play. Because if I flash these back while Feather's in play, I'll get to return them to my hand. I mean, like, Screw generally beats Flood, so we're, like, almost assuredly ahead here. No, I don't, I don't think there's any reason to be aggressive here, Wargy. I think the way I lose this game is either Hactos or Winota, and I think I can afford to play around the Winota. That's, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and attack with this. Flashing back fight is one. Because again, this is gonna put the fight as one into my hand. I get to make this indestructible, so that way it's this is a free roll attack. They'll bounce off of here, but I get my protection spell back. It's not I'm not worried about feather dying, Wargy. I'm worried about myself dying. If I tap out for feather and they play Winota, I could lose the game. I don't think giving them the opportunity to draw Feather is smart. So I'm going to block here. And then I'm going to Reckless Rage. So these trade. Since I have another Feather in my hand. And then I'm going to play this feather. We're going to attack with Dreadhorde Arcanist. Flashing back Reckless Rage. Reckless rage. Some things die while others feel the pain. Reckless rage. Yeah, so ha Hactos seems to be our Achilles heel in this matchup. Seems like, feels like if we can avoid dying to Hactos, we end up at a pretty good spot. Yeah, really, really like this feather. Again, this, if you haven't seen this feather deck before, just to self-shill for a moment, this Feather deck is one of the many excellent decks that you can find up here on my website, jeffhoagland.com. Click Historic Decks here. The decks are sorted by power level. This one is in the high potential category. You can also search here based on power level, based on color, based on archetype, or a combination of these. So like, let's say we're looking for, looking for a, a green aggressive deck. You can click Find Decks there. And you'll see we've got Grawl, Jund, Merfolk, Feather, Winota, etc. So great resource for finding lots of historic decks up there. As far as this is concerned, um, I think I'm happy with where we ended up at. I think the swap to Justice Strike makes a lot of sense. That was very reasonable. Would have helped us in the in the matchup that we lost. Um, Goblin Rune Blaster, you really didn't get a chance to take out for a spin. I think this card's potentially very good. Not only is it fine in the field of the dead matchups, but I think it's excellent in the Tefri control matchups because it kills, not only does it set their lands back, meaning they can't develop their mana fully, but it also attacks Tefri after it plays and bounces something. Haste creatures are very good against three mana Tefri, so... Uh, yeah, I think that's all we got. All right, so we're going to have a third historic deck here before we move on to Summer and Terra. So if you're in here for the magic, don't go anywhere just yet. I'm going to hit a quick add roll. I get everything set up and flipped over to the next one. When we get back in just a few minutes, we're going to play some Black Red Zombies here. So another, another great deck you can find up on the site. I believe the Magic Esports Forward doesn't work anymore.